Andy Halliday says criticism of Rangers' 4.5 million pounds ace is miles off after playing against him. Philippe Clement very clear not even Real Madrid could tempt him from Rangers' mission. Rangers' new boy relishing European clash. Rangers' target told he'd start ahead of Conor Barron and Mohamed Diamandi if 4 million pounds deal goes through. Rangers legend Ali McCoist, no stability leaves Philippe Clement's hands tied. Already drop a like on the video because today's news is full of controversies, huh? At the end I want to hear your opinion on them. Let's go. Andy Halliday has leapt to the defense of Rangers striker Cyril Desers, insisting that the critics of the 4.5 million pounds man are miles off. Having shared the pitch with Desers during a match for Motherwell earlier this season, Halliday believes the forward's all-round game is being unfairly criticized by some sections of the Rangers' support. Despite the Nigerian international making an inconsistent start to life at Rangers, particularly frustrating fans with his tendency to miss simple chances, Desaires has shown flashes of brilliance. In the recent League Cup quarter-final win over Dundee, his two goals fired Rangers into the semi-finals and continued his run of good form. Desaires, who has now scored seven goals in nine appearances this season, seems to be finding his feet at the club, even if his performances can sometimes send the fans into despair with a mix of easy misses and sublime finishes. Halliday, who has faced Desaires firsthand, argues that while the striker can be infuriating at times, his movement and ability to bring teammates into play make him a more difficult opponent than some of his predecessors, like Antonio Kolak. Kolak, for all his goals, didn't have the same all-round game that Desers offers, according to Halliday. In agreement with Halliday, Chris Boyd also praised Desers for his performance against Dundee, pointing out the striker's instinctive finishing. Boyd highlighted how Desers often performs best when he keeps things simple, taking advantage of quick, first-touch opportunities rather than overthinking his chances. The challenge for Desaires now will be maintaining his hot streak as Rangers face crucial fixtures against Malmo in the Europa League and Hibernian in the league. If he continues to deliver in front of goal, Desaires could silence his doubters and cement his place as a key figure in Philippe Clément's Rangers side. New Rangers signing Connor Barron has revealed that the chance to play European football was a major factor in his decision to move to Rangers, and he's eager to show what he can bring to the table. As the Light Blues gear up to face Swedish side Malmo in their Europa League opener tonight, Barron is relishing the opportunity to make his European debut for the club. At 22, Barron sees this as a key moment in his career. During a pre-match press conference, he expressed his excitement, saying, I'm buzzing for it. A big part of coming to Rangers is playing European football. We want to get out there and show what we can do. The midfielder acknowledges that while Rangers have been on a solid run of form recently, there's still plenty of work to be done. He's confident the team will keep improving each week, saying, It is another opportunity for us as a club to go and get three points. This is just the start. We are growing and building as a team each week. We know we are nowhere near the finished article, but we keep building and growing every week. Rangers dropped into the Europa League after missing out on the Champions League group stages losing to Dynamo Kiev in the qualifiers. Now Baron and his teammates are determined to make the most of their European campaign. Rangers are reportedly eyeing up Motherwell's 18-year-old sensation Lennon Miller, with sources suggesting he could slot straight into the midfield alongside Conor Baron and Mohamed Diamande if a deal, potentially worth around four million pounds, goes through. With a squad still in transition after a major overhaul, Philippe Clement's side is slowly shaping up, and the midfield pairing of Baron and Diamond looks like a solid foundation for the future. Baron has been praised for stepping up to the challenge at Rangers following his move from Aberdeen, while Diamande, who joined permanently after a successful loan spell, is still finding his feet this season. Although his form has been inconsistent, Rangers icon Barry Ferguson believes the young Ivorian is poised to hit new heights soon. However, the club's interest in Motherwell's Lennon Miller has sparked excitement. Andy Halliday, a former Rangers player, believes the youngster could start ahead of current first-choice midfielders, such as his talent. Halliday even suggested that Rangers would have to shell out around £4 million to tempt Motherwell into selling their star. Halliday is not alone in his admiration. Barry Ferguson previously urged Rangers to go after Miller, 
recognizing the teenager's immense talent after watching him make his league debut at Rangers age just 16. Miller's rise through the ranks at Motherwell has been impressive, with over 30 premiership appearances already under his belt. If Rangers managed to land Miller, he would join the likes of Baron and Diomand in what could be a formidable young midfield. There are comparisons to be made with Bailey Rice, another former Motherwell prospect who joined Rangers in 2022. However, Halliday points out that Rice, despite his potential, has struggled for first-team opportunities, in stark contrast to Miller, who has thrived with regular game time at Fir Park. Time will tell if Rangers make a move for the youngster, but with their focus on developing the best young Scottish talent, Miller could be the next exciting addition to an evolving side at Rangers. Rangers legend Ally McCoist has expressed his concerns over the current instability at the club, highlighting how this is affecting manager Philippe Clement's ability to succeed. McCoist believes that with key positions like the chairman and CEO still unfilled, Clement's hands are tied as he tries to navigate through a challenging period for the team. Since John Bennett stepped down as chairman earlier in September, Rangers have been without a permanent leader at the top. Former chairman Dave King has shown interest in returning, but no official conversations have taken place. John Gilligan, stepping in as interim chairman, has McCoist's backing, with the ex-striker confident that Gilligan will do his best until a permanent replacement is found. However, the lack of long-term leadership remains a significant issue. In an interview with Sportsmole, McCoist said, There's just absolutely no stability within the club, and with that in mind, you've got to have a degree of sympathy for the manager. He's looking above him, and there's no stability, and his hands are kind of tied a little bit. The chaos isn't limited to the boardroom. Renovation work at Rangers has meant the team have only played at home once this season, further complicating matters for Clement. Rangers are also still without a CEO after James Bisgrove's departure in May, and Gilligan has stated that he hopes to have a new CEO in place by Christmas. McCoist also stressed that the club needs to act more wisely in terms of how they spend their money if they are to compete with Celtic's dominance. He believes that previous investments haven't been well thought out and that Clement is currently having to make do with a squad that hasn't been fully built to his specifications. I don't think there's any money left for him to bring his own players in, so I think he's effectively in a position where he's having to play the cards that he's been dealt," McCoist added. Despite the challenges, Gilligan remains hopeful that Rangers' trading model will pay off in the long run, and he reassured fans that the current situation is nowhere near as dire as the financial troubles of the mid-2010s. As Rangers prepare for their Europa League opener, Clement will be looking to steady the ship and turn these challenging circumstances into a platform for future success. Philippe Clement has made it crystal clear that he's fully committed to the Rangers project, even in the face of recent speculation linking him with a move back to Belgium. Rumors surfaced that Anderlecht, one of Belgium's biggest clubs, were considering Clement as a managerial option, but the Rangers boss has been swift to shut those down. Speaking ahead of Rangers' Europa League clash against Malmo, Clement firmly dismissed any talk of leaving Rangers, stating that not even the likes of Real Madrid or Manchester United could lure him away from his current mission in Glasgow. The Belgian, who took over last October, has endured a turbulent first year at Rangers, but he's shown a determination to rebuild the squad and lead the club back to domestic and European success. In a pre-match press conference, Clement was emphatic. It's really clear I engaged myself long-term for Rangers last month. Whoever comes, whatever team comes, I'm not going to go away. Really clear. I want this project with the club to make it really successful for the future. Clement acknowledged the scale of the challenge, explaining that it would take time, multiple transfer windows, and a lot of hard work to get Rangers back to where they need to be. However, he made it equally clear that he's in it for the long haul, because of his affection for the club, the city, and the supporters. I love the city, I love the club, I love the dynamic at Rangers with the fans, so I am here to stay, very clear. This loyalty from Clement is mirrored by the club itself. Interim chairman John Gilligan, speaking this week, expressed his full backing of the manager, praising Clement's impressive approach and leadership. Gilligan emphasized that while the board handles the business side of things, Clement has complete control over footballing matters at the club. Gilligan said, 
The manager is supported to operate the training academy and football club side of things. We'll never interfere in that. Clement has the backing of the board. Absolutely. With both Clement and the board aligned in their vision, it seems Rangers are fully focused on building a strong future under the Belgians' leadership, and any talk of an early exit has been firmly put to rest. Go ahead and drop your opinion on the news, and if you're new here and want daily updates from Monday to Sunday, hit that subscribe button. We are the people.